Dear Shenhua, my work is done. The Phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of destiny has come. Go with the one who holds the Phoenix, Shenhua, and find the proof. Yield yourself to the light and go together. I shall give you the family treasure, the Sword of Seven Stars. Think of the sword as a part of me and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. What the? Leo. Right. Dragon and a phoenix. Just like the mirrors. So, this is what he was working on. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten, alone. What is that poem? It has been told in the village since long ago. The one who holds the phoenix. That's Bailu Village. We might find some clues about my father there. Let's go. Sure. Hey, Shenhua. We have to get to the village. Let's go. Do you have any idea where your father might have gone? No, I don't. Hmm. Has this ever happened before? With my father? Yeah. Has he ever disappeared without telling you? No, never. I see. Are you certain that letter from the cave was... It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Are you sure it didn't contain any clues? 
Shenhua? I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about the letter. I just want to find my father. I understand. Hello, Liu. Xinhua, who's this? This is Liu. He saved me from drowning in the river. <clears throat> Did something happen? A group of thugs tore through here two days ago. Oh no, really? Yeah, the kind we don't normally see around here. Let's... Keep moving. Hey, Shenhua. What's the matter? Does the village usually have gatekeepers? No. There's no need for them. Bailu is a very peaceful place. Are you sure about that? Because they said some thugs came by. Yes, but it sounds like they're not from around here. Still, that's worrying. Even for you? Yeah. I admit, I'm a little unsettled myself. The village feels different somehow. I can imagine. Let's ask around for some clues. Let's go. That was a pretty old bridge. Indeed. That's the Verdant Bridge. That's what it's called. Yes. It's been in Bailu for a while. Is that the village? Up ahead? Yes. Everyone lives up ahead. We can ask around. Someone's bound to know something. Let's not waste another second. Hello? Uh. I have to go with Shenhua. Guess I'll go after Shenhua.
I'm sure we'll find out more about your father. Thanks. You investigate here, Leo. I'll try another settlement. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Nope. All I care about is martial arts. Okay, then. Hi there. Aha! Come to apprentice under me, have you? Oh, nothing. Fear not, for I am the great Su Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Do I look like I'd know anything about that? Right. Come by any time if you've got any burning questions about the great Chun Tai Chi. Will do. I need help with something. What do you want? I'm looking for someone named Yuan. No, I haven't. Not since I saw him go to that house over there. But that was a while ago. Okay, thanks. Is anyone there? Uh, I guess nobody's home. Do you have a moment? Huh? What is it? There's something I want to ask. What do you want? Don't get all cozy with me. Uh, okay. Hello? Uh, it seems nobody's home. There's something I want to ask. Huh? What is it? I don't like the looks of you. Sorry to bother you. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen Mr. Yuan? He occasionally came to visit Zhou next door, but Zhou is likely working right now. Maybe Zhou's daughter Lin knows where he is. I see. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I don't know. Really? I don't know anything. I see. Excuse me. Oh, hello. How about a game of lucky hit? Um. Come on, come on, try it. Not right now. Oh, so you don't like Lucky Hit. Lucky Hit. Hello, will you try Lucky Hit? Now then, pick a platform.
It's hard to leave on a low note, isn't it? Will you try again? Maybe some other time. Hope to see you again soon. Pale Toss? Want to try Pale Toss? Maybe some other time. Well, see you around then. Hello? Uh, it seems nobody's home. I need help with something. I'm looking for Mr. Yuen. I haven't seen him since I saw him go into that house over there, but that was a while ago. Got it. Hey there. Yeah? That looks great. <laughs> yep, Shenhua tells me that too. You know Shenhua? She's my friend. Is she your friend too? <laughs> yeah, she is. Say, do you know Mr. Yin? He's a stonemason. A stonemason? Just like my daddy? Your dad is a stonemason as well? Yep. Can I talk to him? Uh-huh. He comes home at 7 at night. He does. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. No problem. Hey. What is it, dear? I've got a question. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I'm sorry, dear, but could you save that for later? This is no place for idle chit-chat. I just have a question. <coughs> have you seen Mr. Yuan? Where did you come from, young man? What? There's always something interesting coming in from the Lijiang River. I wonder what's going to show up next.
Pardon me. Um... Let's have a look around here first. Let's have a look around here first. Pardon me. Who's there? May I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Oh, hi, mister. You know this man? He's my friend, Daddy. Well, get to it. I haven't seen Yuen around. If you know anything, I... Huh? What happened? Some thugs I'd never seen before showed up and wrecked my place. Thugs, huh? Why would they do this? It's me. They asked if I was a stonemason, so I said yes. And they just went crazy. Why stonemasons? They were definitely looking for something. What did they look like? Well, they weren't from around here, that's for sure. There were two of them. One had a shaved head with a tattoo on it. Don't tell me. They went to Yuan's place too? I don't know. Yuan was in the quarry when he disappeared. You're kidding. Those thugs might have something to do with that, too. Maybe. I'll be sure to tell Shenhua. Bye-bye, mister! Bye! It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Anything new, Ryo? Not about your father, no. I see. It seems that the thugs invaded Mr. Joe's home, though. Joe, you mean Ling's house? They must have my father then. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. 
I'm going with you tomorrow. Juan? I can't stop thinking about these thugs. I want to know more. All right, then. We'll go together. Good. Guess I'll come back tomorrow. Leo? Yeah? I've been thinking about the thugs that went to Ling's house. And? I don't think it was a coincidence. I'm with you. They must have had a reason. Let's talk to the villagers together tomorrow. Okay. I want to ask some questions of my own. Good morning, Liu. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Hey, um... What is it, Liu? It's time to make our way to the village. Got it. We can talk more on the way. Your house is pretty far from the village, Ha huh, Shenhua? Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. 
Is there a reason for that? The quarry could be one. Sorry? The quarry. It's a special one that even I'm not allowed to enter. Ah. So, your house is there to protect it? Yes, I believe so. Father didn't tell me anything about it, though. I see. Do you know what the dragon and phoenix in the quarry were for? No, I don't. But your father carved them, right? Yes, he must have. He wasn't alone, though. What do you mean by that? They must have taken generations to complete. So, you think your grandfather worked on them too? Yes, possibly even further back than that. Have you heard any stories about them? Not a single one. My father always said he'd tell me when I got older. Then, how do you know it has so much history? Well, everyone in the village has history. The villagers? Yes. Generations of stonemasons, hunters, and farmers have all lived here. The same goes for the cattle wranglers. They've been here for ages. Oh, yeah? That's just how things work here. Is this a dojo? That's right. This is Marshall Hall. It's been here for ages. Marshall Hall? Long ago, many great martial artists traveled here, from all over the world. But no one comes here nowadays. Is that so? Ryo, you should come here to practice when you have time. Is that okay? Of course. Our doors are open to everyone that comes here looking to master the martial arts. Are you a new trainee? Sorry? Hmm, you're Japanese. I am. The people of Bailu Village have trained here for centuries. It has history. Did you say centuries? You would do well to train here if you have lost sight of the path. You can polish your techniques. So you'll let me train here? Not only that. I'll let you prove yourself by fighting the monks here. You're on. A fight? Very well. Your first opponent shall be Red Tiger. He is our least skilled monk, but do not underestimate him. say you will you join us yes absolutely very well what is your name Ryo Hazuki 
I shall have a name tag prepared for you. You will start from the lowest rank. Rank? Yes. You must fight and defeat someone above your rank in order to move up. You must train day in and day out to improve your kung fu. Whose shop is that? Over the bridge. Oh, it belongs to Uncle Tao. Uncle Tao, huh? Yes, people can get anything they need from his shop. I see. Leo, did you pack anything to eat? Why do you ask? Well, you can't run on an empty stomach. That's a very good point. Be sure to keep a little something on hand in case you get hungry later. A lot of places in the village sell food, too. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Leo, the Serb. This is... It's licorice. You can make Chinese medicine with it. So, you can turn this into medicine, huh? Not just this. There are lots of herbs growing in Bailu. Where do they grow? They're all over the place, but you have to really look for them. Oh, really? There should be special maps at Uncle Tao's shop. Someone actually made maps? Yes, if you find enough to make some medicine. Uncle Tao will buy them from you. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Guess I'll go after Shenhua. I'm going to lose sight of Shenhua. I'd better hurry. I would like to know, what's the tall tower just past the village square? Ah, uh, yes. That's the bell tower. What is it for? We ring the bell if there's a fire in the mountains, or if something dangerous is encroaching on the village. Is that why it's so tall? Precisely. It's also a useful landmark, because you can see it from anywhere in the village. That's handy. So, you can find your way back to the square? If you head for the bell tower? That's right. I'll have to keep that in mind. Excuse me. Oh, hey kid. What do you want? Have you come to apprentice under me? Oh, nothing. You're a beginner, right? You have a name? Ryo Hazuki. Well, Ryo, it's your lucky day. Fear not, for I am the great Suza Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. What? 
You don't think I've got what it takes? That's not what I... Then let me show you what I've got! Fight me! Right now! Oh, man. Look, I'm not opposed, but... It's too late now, R It was Ryo, right? Thanks for that. Well, how's it feel? Pretty nice to train with a master like me, isn't it? Hmm? Uh, sure. Come by anytime. I'm always up for a fight. 